As the Jefferson Parish Sheriff releases new video of the moment a murder suspect escaped from Auctioner Hospital, we can confirm this man is now back in custody. Good evening and thanks for joining us, everyone. I'm Sharice Gibson. And I'm Katie Moore. The murder suspect may be in custody after an arrest in New Orleans East, but there are plenty of questions still about how he managed to escape JPSO custody. Alyssa Curtis has been following all the latest developments. Joining us now with a live update, and you were at that press conference earlier, Alyssa. What did the sheriff have to say? Sheriff Joe Lapinto opened his press conference with two words, mission accomplished. He was arrested this afternoon by NOPD, but at last check, he is still in the custody of Orleans Parish. We're actually here in Gretna right now at the Jefferson Parish Correctional Facility, where Leon Ruffin is expected to arrive this evening. So we're kind of on standby right now. He'll arrive here specifically at that garage door behind me. Ruffin was arrested around 2.30 this afternoon at a hotel in New Orleans East. Sources tell WWL Louisiana it was the Trident Hotel that he was found at. JPSO Sheriff Joe Lapinto says it's still very early, but he believes Ruffin has been there pretty much the whole time since he escaped custody. It's unclear if he had that pepper spray that he used to get away still on him. Not only did he use pepper spray, but Sheriff Lopinto believes Ruffin also had help escaping. He says there will likely be more arrests in connection to this. More search warrants are being executed, so he says to stand by where they're still working to get more information and we'll likely hear more in the coming days. Lopinto credits the response to the nonstop work of JPSO and other law enforcement. Because the hotel was in New Orleans, we had NOPD violent offender squad that was executing New Orleans along with the U.S. Marshal Service. Uh, so both of them helped out. Now, look, we had we had a lot of help from a lot of different people over the last two days. Uh, you know, local agencies, uh, whether St. Bernard, St. Charles Parish, or Orleans Parish Sheriff's Office, um, you know, ourselves, every, all of our federal partners, uh, it was all hands on deck. Now, I want to answer a question that many viewers have had in the past few days. There was one deputy who was transferring Ruffin to and from the hospital. A lot of people were asking, why was there only one deputy? Uh, maybe this made it easier for him to get away. Sheriff Lopinto told us today that that's protocol, that usually it is only one deputy. He says they do many transfers every single day, and they don't really have a problem. This, of course, was an exception to that. But but again, he does say it is protocol for one deputy to transfer an inmate. Lopinto also says Ruffin will now face additional charges in regards to this escape, including theft of a motor vehicle, dis disbarment of a police officer, and aggravated escape. Again, we're waiting at the Jefferson Parish Correctional Facility in Gretna for him to arrive. Once that does happen, we'll bring it to you right here on air. Reporting live in Gretna, Alyssa Curtis, WWL Louisiana. All right, more to come. Thank Thank you.